Welcome back, Seth Bling here, and I'm back on the Minecraft server. Bling Tower is now up to eight stories. Ooh. Hello. Bling Tower is now up to eight stories tall, and uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that Zisto thought I was done with Bling Tower. I'm not. Of course, Aurelian wants the rooftop garden, and we haven't uh, built that yet. But uh, he thought I was done, and additionally, I guess he thought that if a tower is done, you can build another tower on top of that. So that seems to be his conception. Uh, so he built Zed Blinger Tower. Zed Blinger Tower. On top of Bling Tower. Let's go take a look. Uh, I, I feel like... I feel like Zisto... I feel like this might be a cry for help from Zisto. Well, let's just take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, go up the go up the floors. Some new people have moved in. Uh, here, there's a kitty. Uh, adds Jaceno. That's not new. Badge and Pyro are up on the seventh floor. On the eighth floor, um, Pause has moved in. I don't think there's anyone in this apartment yet. And uh, okay, but here's the new tower. It's not even a door or anything. It's it's like connected to the old tower. I don't know if I would even consider this a new tower. Zisto's Oct House. Okay, so it's supposed to be like a penthouse, but I don't know. Eighth, eighth floor. There's an egg here. Um, there's some paintings on the walls. I guess this is, is kind of out of blocks incorporated. <laughs> Natural ventilation. Okay. So... Zisto, 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 Zisto. I don't know. I don't know about this place. I feel like this is not up to code. The building code uh, is being violated in several ways. Here, uh, there isn't even a wall on this face of the building. I feel like there's a cry for help, and uh, and I want to help Zisto out. So let's go take a look. Let's go help take a look. Zisto does have a house in town. I don't even know. I don't even know why he felt the need for uh, for uh, for another tower on top of my tower but uh, he does have another house in town he's working on and it's over here it's this weird monstrosity made out of fences well wood fences and and cobblestone fences let's go take a look it's kinda weird um, on the inside he's got like he's got his chest, an anvil here's an ender chest um, all this stuff. I think there's something going down to bedrock here, but I guess this this place is uh, it's a little weird, a little foreign. I guess he didn't feel like it was close enough to home. It didn't feel like a home to him, so he felt like that he felt the need to create a second home. So today I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if I can help him out and and make his place feel a little bit more homey. Okay, well I've finished the scaffolding uh, to uh, for the project that I have in mind. And yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, it's gonna, definitely going to be suitable for what I want to build. Let's take a look inside. Uh, there is something up in here that will explain what's going on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it goes up a little ways, a little ways. I don't know how many levels there are. Didn't actually count. Let's see. I think about here is where I want to be. Yeah. So uh, here we go. Uh, the rules that matter. So this is a list of the rules that matter. This, of course, is from a playthrough that Zisto did of my map, Skygrid. And uh, and he played a, a series called The Rules That Matter. And he had these rules, no stone generators, walls and platforms are 5x5, five five, aqueducts for long travel, etc., etc. And, uh, and I thought, what better way to make him feel at home than to actually bring him his home from that series. So I've got the scaffolding up here. And let's just go up to the very top. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna basically work from the top down. So I've built it all at the right, the grid at the right uh, intervals. So I will use, uh, basically, I will use the five by five platform there as the guide. Now let's see. The corner of the platform is right here. So there's gonna be a block right here. Um, so the box will be things like uh, iron ore. Okay, and then. Uh, the grid, if you haven't seen Sky Grid, it's a grid of blocks. It goes every four blocks. So one, two, so it's one, two, three, four. So it's going to go in this corner. Maybe I'll put dirt there. And then over here, there's going to be another block. Maybe we'll put the gold there, etc. So it's going to be a four by four by four grid. 
And so all the scaffolding is set up to allow me to do that. I'm going to have to do that in each dimension. So one, two, three, four. So on the side of this block, I'm going to want to put, oh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's put a log next to this. So we'll put a log here. And um, yeah, so I don't have the supplies in my inventory yet that I need, but I'm basically going to make this big grid and then remove the scaffolding. I'm going to go from the top down when I remove the scaffolding so that I can collect all the stone and, and dirt that I used as the scaffolding because there's a lot of it and <laughs> I could probably use it for something else. Don't want to make it go to waste, but it's going to take a bunch of work to do that and I'll be back. Well, I got the blocks installed. Uh, it was a lot of them. Definitely, definitely uh, several stacks. I tried to make it as random looking as possible. And I don't have all the types of blocks that were in the uh, the original SkyGrid map, of course. There were some uh, some blocks that would have been really hard to get in here. For instance, there was some floating water, floating lava, that sort of stuff. Uh, not really worth messing around with. But, yep. So, I, uh, I made sure to include some, some nice uh, shiny resources so that Zista wouldn't get too mad with me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, all that's left now is to remove the scaffolding. So I'm going to do that from the top down. I, again, I do want to collect all of the all of the scaffolding that I put up. So I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it all off camera or most of it off camera. But just to show you kind of what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go. I I made the mat scaffolding match from layer to layer so that I can just like walk along and I don't even have to look down as I'm moving along. I know I'm not gonna fall because. Well, most of the layers match anyway. There's a transition about halfway down, and it's going to get interesting kind of in the middle around some of the pre-existing built structures, but uh, I'm going to go down and, and just break all the blocks. Well, okay, I guess... <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess the, it's not a perfect match. Anyway, I'm going to get it all done, and we'll come back to see the final product. All right, all done. What do you think? Has the trademark sky grid kind of weird line diagonal lines <laughs> going uh not i mean not not the same quite as if you're in the map works a lot better if you're looking upward than if you're if you're kind of looking down through it to the ground it doesn't have the quite the same effect because you need that contrast with the with the background but anyway so there you go hopefully zisto feels more at home uh ho home there so that um so that he doesn't mind when i whoops <laughs> Whoopsies! When I inevitably rip down <laughs> Blinger Z Blinger Tower, <sighs> this guy. Well, anyway, uh, that's about all I got uh, for this episode. Thanks for watching.